we're someplace where it seems like we're close to help, but we're not necessarily, we can be hours away from help, not that far into our hike. So we need to have you guys watch each other very closely. When your hands stop working, when you're not walking straight, when you can't talk, that's hypothermia starting. With the wind chill, we can get down to about zero degrees today. Um, we have gusts uh, that will be um, probably about 40 miles per hour. Um, so on Saturday morning, we had uh, a guide come to us and, and have a bit of a chat about uh, what to look forward to. Um, he painted the picture like we're all fearing for our lives um, and that we had to ring mum and dad to say our last goodbye. Um, so it was. A little bit scary, a little bit nervous, the heart was racing, but uh, once we got out there uh, it was obviously snowing and it was pretty tough at the start, but uh, no, it was a good day. I've, I've never hiked um, up, the, up the snow, I've always been lucky enough to be able to ski or snowboard, so it's a bit of a change and, and watching a couple of the skiers go past, it was, uh, it was pretty frustrating to see them go down as we were going up, but that uh, no, was good fun. So when we got to the lodge, we arrived about four, I think about four o'clock, quarter to four. Uh, we were unsure whether we had to go back out into the conditions and go for another climb. We expected that, but uh, we got a nice little surprise when he said we uh, we didn't have to do it. So that was good. So we all uh, we all rugged up, finally got something to eat, um, took off the, the cold clothes and the gloves and, uh, and got comfortable. So last night when we got into camp, all the boys were, were quite cold and... And pretty, uh, pretty knackered from the walk, so uh, we needed some entertainment, um, and he sure provided that. Uh, it was sort of the first real time I saw him um, come to the, the forefront, and and I was uh, laughing a, a lot throughout the night. So he was, uh, he was great value, and, and got all the boys through. <laughs> So Sunday morning we uh, we woke up about nine o'clock, cleaned up the uh, the cabin and uh, and set foot onto onto the snow at ten o'clock. Um, the sun was shining; it looked beautiful. Some some fresh powder of snow, and all the boys that were looking forward to uh, to getting back to the vans um, about. 20, 30 minutes in, uh, the uh, the cold set in. Uh, the wind, the wind really picked up, and the jackets and extra gloves come on. Jacking you always like. From the first time I, I met with uh, with some of the Collingwood uh, Collingwood coaches and and staff members, the uh, the thing that stood out most to me was the fact that they're they're really pushing for success. Um, it was the, the thing that grabbed me the most in the meetings and, and the way that Buck speaks and the, the way that Jeff Walsh speaks and it made me want to come to, the, come to this club. Um, they're not happy with coming second, third or fourth, they want to be at the top. So coming into the 2013 season, uh, my goals on field is obviously to play as many games as possible. Um, I've come across into a really strong lineup. Um, trying to push into that's obviously going to be the hardest thing. So at the minute I'm just trying to work as hard as possible um, and obviously take, make the most of my, my second chance um, and try and be there at the end of September with the boys holding a, holding a cup. So, I mean, they're, they're the two goals is, is obviously success, but, um, but playing as many games as possible. Let's make sure you just do a hydro session, maybe the light bike, stick your legs over a little bit, get the rest of the day off. Uh, this will be right for tomorrow. Yeah, well, boys, go work, good effort. Proud of you. Let's get the medical back. Got a short straw.